What's up guys? Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. I know it's been a while, um, and you might notice a little bit of difference uh, to the look of the, uh, the planet in the background. We'll get to that in a little bit. Um, so, point 21 is out, and it has uh, reinvigorated me to get some recording done. Um, and this is post-commentary, uh, so just give you a heads up on that. Um, yeah, we are using the uh, Cathane mod, and uh, so what I decided to do for my first mission is to make a little probe and uh, go ahead and try to map out the, the Cathane pockets and everything around the, uh, the surface of, of Kerbin. Um, and what we're going to try to do for the first couple missions is just to get my bearings back. Um, with the with the game and the controls and everything and because uh, it's been a while for me so uh, what I decided to do like I said with the first couple of missions is just to go ahead and figure out how to work with uh, the Cathane mod parts and everything so I, I threw together a small little probe and a, and a, just a basic little uh, rocket or yeah to, to get it up into orbit and to start my ma uh, mapping and everything so um, that's gonna be playing in the background while I talk about what I am to do with the the actual uh, progression of the series and going forward um, what I'd like to do um, I want to keep the mods to a minimum like like always I'm gonna be using the flat engineer just because that's much easier than constantly switching back and forth and looking at the uh, um, the map view for your peri apps and your uh, uh, yeah, apo apps and stuff like that so um, I just figure I can have it all right there so I'm not using Mac or anything like that still I, I still have nothing against it personally I just don't personally use it so um, I just I just don't have that. Um, what's going on with like I said with the future of it? What I want to do is use the Cathane mod. I want to be able to um, first learn how to use it. That's what like I said what we're going to do in the first few uh, episodes is learn how to all the what all the different parts do, how to uh, uh, extract it, how to convert it to the different types of fuels. I don't even know what all fuels you can. I don't like uh, it would be nice if you can get mono propellant RC fuel. I don't know if you can do that. We're going to figure that out. I'm trying to stay away from the wiki as much as possible, uh, but with that said, if I do get stumped, you guys can go ahead and give me some pointers, or or I'll look it up or whatever, you know, just to help the the series progress. And um, you'll notice I've made a a, a really big flaw um, with this uh, uh, this this probe, and you'll see it later um, because of the changes that came with point twenty one um, with the uh, reaction wheels and the energy system and all that. Uh, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Um, but what, like I said, let me get, let me try to focus. All right, what I want to do going forward is uh, be able to um, build a, a, a station in a Kerbin orbit and a station around the moon, and uh, be able to uh, make a mining colony on on the moon to be able to uh, fully sustain all my missions um, in the Kerbin system. So what I, with that said, what I want to be able to do is uh, be able to launch a mission from the KSC up to the Kerbin station, um, get in my little shuttle or whatever we're going to call it to be able to go from that station to the moon station and from the moon station to the surface of the moon and uh, either um, resupply or gather um, cathane from the surface of the moon and bring it back to the different stations and whatnot. And eventually, once we get a, a very, uh, I want a very uh, easy and... Um, well designed and uh, once I get that all we get that all straightened out uh, from there we're gonna go to uh, Minmus and beyond we'll eventually uh, stretch it out to other planets and other moons um, throughout uh, the whole uh, the whole system the whole uh, solar system whatever it's called um, so yeah that, that that's the grand scheme of the everything so, but in the near future like I said we're gonna stick to um, Kerbin influence um, I'm gonna try to map out everything uh, around Kerbin, just get my fills for the mod, um, and uh, you know, just learn the different parts. Like I said, and, learn, and help uh, design uh, different uh, uh, vehicles and ships and whatnot. Um, and that rem that reminds me, um, now you have uh, I don't know if it's permanent death to your Kerbals, but I know you have to recruit them. And once you lose them, they go to a different tab, and you can't use them anymore. And I I don't know if you can like. Uh, change it config file where you get those guys back but um, I'm gonna play it like it is in the game I'm not gonna edit anything so what that means if say if Jeb dies and I can't get him back he's gone so I'm going to be a lot more careful with my designs and what I'm gonna do is usually add a uh, um, a probe core um, to my ships 
so I can always have that as a, as a fail safe and always uh, fly the ships unmanned until I know okay this design will work if anything happens it's going to be because of pilot error not because of the ship design so make it a lot safer make it more realistic um, in that aspect where you know we're not just okay let's slap the stuff together and go kill you know three three Kerbals at once no that's not gonna happen um, you see right there I have everything set to uh, an action group and I, I left the uh, at the, at this at this time in the video, I, I, I left the um uh the 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 nuclear the atomic engine um the Nerva whatever it's called I left it on the core because I didn't quite know what I was going to do with the uh, the mission. But as you can see right up here, coming up very soon, we're getting into the dark side of the moon or dark side of the planet. And uh, I thought having a battery pack and everything was going to be fine, but I forgot that they changed the energy system. But pretty much, you have to have energy at all times <laughs> and all these different parts I have on this uh, this probe it drains it quickly once we get to the dark side and you'll see I'm like um, well that was a that was a design flaw so yeah with the with the uh, Kethane uh, uh, detector it, it, it drains it quickly and I'll, I'll see me speed up time till I actually start getting uh, the solar panels and I'll finally uh, I'll eventually orientate my probe where it's uh, at a, a polar um, orientation, so it stays where it can always have sunlight. Uh, once it's when it's on the yeah, there we go when it's in the uh, the bright side of the planet, so it's a little bit more efficient that way. But um, at, at about this time, I realized okay, it's a design flaw. Uh, I'm not going to worry about trying to get into the polar orbit. I was just testing out the different mod parts and see exactly how it maps it and everything. And um, I did this for a while. I sped the video up. Luckily, so it's it's not going to be too long. I mean, it, it does drag on for a little bit, but uh, we'll we'll see if we can't just uh, talk about different things while it's doing that. But yeah, you see, if you, if you if you warp time too fast, it skips little spots on the uh, on the on the grid. And uh, I like how you can turn the grid on and off, so it's not like if you don't want it there, that's fine. If you do, it's it's handy. And uh, but yeah, if you if you uh, skip time, you you miss a bunch of spots. And I'm just sitting there right now. I'm just like trying to figure out. Okay, well, that's pretty basic. I mean, it's pretty easy to to map it. And I'm glad you don't have to have a really big like uh, the map set add-on where it has that big uh, GUI interface where it has the uh, more I guess a more realistic uh, map of where you know it has the lines that go up and down like uh, parabolas and things like that. But I'm glad it integrates it into the actual game. So when you're in the map view, it puts it, it overlays it over the top of the planet. I thought that was a really awesome design, and I wasn't expecting that. I've never messed with Kethane. I haven't watched too many videos, and I don't know if that's a recent update or not. But it's 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 pretty awesome. And you see in the bottom right, you can turn the grid overlay on and off, and that, I think that's a nice little part to that. I didn't expect that. I was surprised. So that's cool. So um. Uh, like I said, I'm just going around. I think I eventually get the whole equator mapped out just to see, you know, how long it would take to do that. And it only took maybe, you know, uh, four or five uh, um, orbits around the actual planet, I think. Um, but yeah. So what uh, later on in the video, you'll see me. I'll I'll go ahead and deorbit this uh, this probe, and um, I will expand on it a little bit. And uh, that, that, I think that's coming up pretty soon, I, I believe, um, in the video. I think I actually speed it up a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, so what we're going to do um, in the next video, I'm going to try to do that one live. Um, if I can, I, I always, in, I use DX Tori, and I always forget to, to, to check the little box to record my mic input. Yeah, I always forget to do that because sometimes I'll I'll use it just for uh, FPF settings and, and just to check and make sure everything's running smoothly. I'll use that kind of like a benchmark. Okay, if I can run this game while it's recording at 60 frames a second, I'll know my settings are good. Kind of deal. I don't know. It's just, I just it's it's a weird thing to use as a benchmark, but I do that and I'll check the footage, make sure it's running smooth on that end, and I'll forget that I don't have my mic, you know, unmuted, and I'll start recording when I'm wanting to record my mic, and it just you know. This ends up where I have to do the post commentary, and I don't mind doing the post commentary. It's a lot easier to, you know, gather my thoughts. I don't have to worry about flying this ship. I can just talk about what's going on. So, but yeah, we're, uh, the mods that we're, like I said, we're going to be using for right now are just the the the, the Kerbal Flight Engineer Redux, and you'll see. I'll, I'll try to. I'm okay. Well, let's go ahead and see if we can get into polar orbit, 
and I fiddled around with that a little bit and I was like, eh, you know what? I don't feel like trying to uh, wait every time I'm in the dark to build. I gotta be in the light to do the, uh, you know, to do all the maneuvers and that's gonna make it take even longer. So I eventually was like, yeah, let's go ahead and do over it. But yeah, we're just gonna use um, uh, the Cathane mod and the Kerbal Flight Engineer Redux. Uh, for the time being, if there if there's uh, more parts that come out, or I see a mod pack, it's like okay, that's not it doesn't change the game too much, or it doesn't you know add this overpowered part or whatnot. Um, we'll probably I'll, I'll look into doing that. And now that uh, um, I think her name's Claire, the uh, the mod author for uh, the KSPX, um, the expanded um, stock parts or whatever it's called, I think she's actually. Um, she was she was working with squad. I don't know if she's still on leave or what, but I know that she's going to be added in. That was one part a mod part pack that I was using, and I loved it. But um, a lot of those parts are already in the game, so there's no need for it anymore. I don't even know if she's still keeping it active. But yeah, you see, try just to burn a little bit more fuel. I don't know why, but uh, go ahead and deorbit that, and you'll see. We'll get back into the uh, space uh, hangar or the uh, VAB, and. Um, it's been so long I can't I cannot remember how to find the generators or what tab they're in it takes me forever and I finally find it and uh, we slap a couple of those on there but um, that's gonna be it for this episode guys stay tuned we're gonna get this guy into into hopefully a polar orbit so uh, stay tuned